All right, the headset that I use is the Corsair Void. It is the stereo version. It comes in stereo or USB. Um, I have both a USB and a stereo uh, Corsair headset, and they both sound amazing. Uh, the Corsair Void uh, it has a noise-canceling microphone as well as uh, controls on the headset so that you can control your volume. So if you want to check one of these out, then just check out the link down below. What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Deluxe20, a.k.a. Mr. Camptastic. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another episode of Deluxe 20's PC Build. Thank you guys for coming back for the third episode. If you've not checked out episode 1 or episode 2, the links will be down at the top of the description. You can click on those and go watch those first if you want to find out how we got to the point that we're at today. Just want to remind you that this is my first build, so I am a total noob at building PCs. So if you have some suggestions or things, go ahead and put those down in the comments down below. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to assemble and mount the CPU cooler, the H105 from Corsair. We're also going to mount the power supply and run some of those cables to the motherboard and to the other components. And then we're also going to mount the Hydro graphics card. Um, it is amazing. We're going to mount both it and its radiator into the case. Uh, so that's what we're going to get into this episode. So I hope you guys stay around and uh, enjoy this video. Alright, let's get right into it. We've got this back mount bracket for the cooler. And it's got these little slidable things there so you can line it up on the holes on the back of your motherboard. Uh, and yeah, we're going to start with that. The standoffs will attach to that later. Uh, next, we're going to do the fans for the radiator. You want to arrange them. Uh, you may be able to move them around till you get the cables to come out in the exact direction that you need them to. Um, I'm going to have all mine trying to point out the same way so that I can run it out of the back and uh, kind of keep those cables out of the way. All right, next you're going to use these long screws and a little washer and you're going to use them to secure all four corners of each fan. So it's going to be a total of eight screws. You're just going to put the washer on and just slide it down so that it goes through both holes on the fan and into the radiator. Then you're just going to go through and screw all these in. And then you'll repeat the same process over here on the other fan. Just basically doing the same thing with the long screw and the washer. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the standoffs onto the motherboard. They'll connect to the back of the plate. Uh, you may have to slide, lay it on the side, your case on the side, so that you can put your hand on the back of it. But once you get them started, it's pretty easy. Um, you're just going to kind of tighten them just a little bit at a time until they're tight and secure in there. Uh, there's four of them, one on each corner around uh, where the CPU is. So you're just going to tighten them just hand tight and make sure that it's in there good. Alright, so here's the four standoffs that are in there. Um, on the last one, I talked about the eight screws. I'm going to kind of point those out so that you can see where it's attached to the motherboard. There are already standoffs on the motherboard so I didn't have to attach any of that stuff so someone asked that question before all right now I'm going to take this lid off the very top of the case so that we can mount the radiator for the CPU cooler I'm also going to take off the black cap here so that the CPU is out it probably would have fell anyway when I stood it up all right I'm going to use these back four see it's got the rubber grommets already set up for the uh, 20 or 120 millimeter fans but we're going to be using the 240 millimeter radiator so we'd use up the space for two fans so basically I'm going to hold it underneath with one hand I'm going to use these screws to go ahead and attach um, one corner here in the back first so I'm going to get the screw once I get it lined up I'm just going to tighten it down and then after I do this back corner I'm going to do the opposite corner so that it'll hold it in place and it's not hanging or pulling or anything like that and then I'm just gonna go through and do these other six screws and then I'm gonna flip it over now you can see I've got all my fans are tight and screwed in there and the radiator is attached to the top also I have my cables right here that I'm gonna attach to the fan splitter later but for right now um, I'm just gonna kinda push them back out of the way you want to make sure you know where they're going to be plugged in. Mine will be right here at the top, so that's why I have everything arranged that way. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and line up 
the cooler. I'm going to leave the plastic on. Just make sure all my standoffs line up with the holes. And then I'm going to take some alcohol, some rubbing alcohol, and I'm going to clean any residue off of the CPU uh, to make sure there's no fingerprints or dust or anything like that. If you use the CPU before, you want to make sure that you get all the paste off uh, before you apply the new paste to it. Now I'm going to pull the protective plastic piece off the front and as you can see it comes with the thermal paste already on it. Um, if you don't have it already on it you can buy some cheap and you just want to put about a pea size on the CPU before you press this down uh, so that it'll spread out. Now I'm going to uh, make sure the Corsair logo is straight up and then I'm going to push it down firmly. Uh, now I'm going to start attaching these little um, screw caps onto the top of each of the four standoffs. Uh, you want to tighten them in a kind of a cross pattern so that you don't put too much pressure on one side. Kind of like a lug nut on a car. You don't want it to pop or break any pieces of it. Now after I get it started with my hand, I'm going to go ahead and use a screwdriver. And what I'm going to do with the screwdriver is I'm just going to kind of work my way around. Uh, just doing a couple of turns at a time as you can tell I kind of have it sped up here I'm just gonna do a couple turns at a time until it's all the way down tight and secure there we go next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this wire I'm gonna run it back out of the way um, so that I can plug it in later at the top of my motherboard there so I'm just gonna kind of push it back uh, out of the way with the fan plug-ins all right like I talked about before, there's that silver ring here. Uh, if you choose to do the red or the blue one, whichever goes with the color of your build, I chose the chrome because it kind of goes with my white and my black theme. All right, if you want to stack these, you can, like I mentioned in the case review. I'm actually going to take this back one out, and it's very easy. You're just going to take out these four screws, and it'll just slide right out. There you go pretty easy now if you wanted to stack them you could but for maximum airflow from these front fans I'm actually just gonna take mine out and just move it out of the way but you can mount them if you wanted to all right it comes with these little connectors that are gonna go to the motherboard um, they're just in this little package so I'm gonna open those up and I'm gonna start plugging those in now you're gonna connect it to these little bitty tiny wires that come with the thing now you want to take your time here and read them all and make sure you've got like the positive to the positive, the negative to the negative, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but it's important to take your time and kind of read these. Um, it powers a lot of stuff on the front of the case. Uh, for instance, your power button or your reset button. Uh, just think little things like that. But they have these connectors, which makes it really easy to get everything um, plugged in, all the small things. You can kind of read it and get it all labeled out however it needs to be. All right, after you plugged it in down here at the bottom, you want to make sure it's firm and pressed all the way in. So make sure you've got that connected all the way on the bottom of your motherboard. All right, next up, we're going to put on this fan splitter like I talked about earlier. Um, I'm going to plug it both the fans into the splitter. And I'm going to pull the cords back through. And then I'm going to plug in just the power cord up at the top for the CPU fan spot on the motherboard. Then I'm going to plug in the cooler. I'm going to plug it right beside it in another fan spot. They're just little three pin connectors. So I'm going to plug that in. And then I'm going to pull this excess wire back out of the way. So that kind of gives a, a better clean look to my build. All right, on to my power supply, the RM850i. Um, now, I was telling you earlier about the silent mode. There's a piece of paper on the back that tells you about it. You can just tear that off. Now, you can mount it with the fan up or with the fan down. Either way, I'm going to mount mine with the fan down just so that it pulls the air from outside of the case and blows the hot air from it back out so that it's not really putting any heat into my case. So it can pull the air up through that vent there and just blow it out the back. Okay, we're going to go ahead and slide it into the case. It just fits down here at the bottom. Make sure everything's where it needs to be. Now with this actual power supply, it comes with a few things like some zip ties, um, little screws here that we're going to mount in the back in just a second. And it also comes with uh, this little powered by Corsair emblem. You can put that somewhere on your case, kind of like a little badge thing. 
Okay, now we're gonna mount the power supply to the case. So you just wanna wiggle it around till you get the holes lined up so that you can put the screws in the back here and attach it. And it may take a little bit of maneuvering, but once you get the first one in, uh, the bottom two, it should be a little easier. But you're just gonna grab a screwdriver and just go ahead and screw in the four screws there on the back. Pretty simple. All right, the next thing that I'm gonna do is run the wire for the Corsair Link so that you can monitor all the temperatures and info, all that stuff, almost all of your components right from your desktop. So we're just gonna run this through and then pull the excess wire back out of the way so we don't have to see all that stuff laying around in the front. Next thing I'm gonna do a little bit of cable management, uh, just moving the wires around to where they actually plug into the motherboard. And that way with all these rubber grommets on the case, um, it makes it really simple to just put it wherever you need it and it works out great. All right, now I've ran, as you see this white cord here, I've ran the power cables that I need to power my graphics card. Now I've already got it plugged into the power supply. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove two of these slots here on the back. Uh, you just take out these screws and then the little piece of metal will just slide out. You wanna make sure that it's the ones that are lined up with the PCI slot that you're gonna use for your graphics card. So I'm just gonna pull these back out of the way. All right, and they should be out of your way now. Okay, next I'm gonna take the graphics card and I'm gonna slide it into the PCI slot. Um, you're gonna to have to give it a little bit of a push so that it clicks into place and make sure everything is lined up perfectly. There we go, good to go. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount this radiator here on the back uh, if you'll remember from the first episode when I was talking about the case, we actually took out the fan that was here in the back, and so we're going to end up mounting it here in the same spot. So once you've got one screw in, uh, it should be as simple as just screwing in the other three screws there on the back, and it mounts in just kind of like a fan. And you just want to move these cables back out of the way for my cooler and make sure they're not rubbing against the fan. All right, next I'm going to plug in the 8-pin and the six pin power cables here to my graphics card. I'm just gonna take those and they should just slide right in until they pop in. All right, so now we got that plugged in. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the screws back in the back without the metal pieces there. I'm just gonna go ahead and screw those in. Get them started up with your hand there and then you can get a screwdriver and tighten them up. All right, the next thing that I'm gonna do is plug in the 24 pin connector that goes to your motherboard. I'm gonna plug that in and then I'm gonna run it through one of these grommets here so that it's back out of the way. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is just run it down to the bottom, back out another grommet and plug it into the uh, power supply down at the bottom. So as you can see, it's plugged in down there in the corner. And that's all we're going to do for this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We got a lot done. And uh, I think we're moving towards the finale of the next episode. So if you haven't watched the other two episodes, go watch those now. The link will be down below. Um, you can go and watch those and find out what all we've done before we got to this point. Now next episode is going to be our final episode. So in that final episode, we're going to mount... Um, all of our hard drives, we've got a 1 terabyte Western Digital, a 3 terabyte Western Digital, as well as a 480 gigabyte SSD from Corsair. And then we're going to do a few other assembly things, some cable management, a few things to make it look pretty, stuff like that. And then we're going to try our first startup, and with the first startup, of course, comes a little bit of troubleshooting, so we're going to go through that process. And then after that, you guys will see our final product. Uh, what I've been working so hard to do is to get my final PC done and you guys will get to see it on the end of the next episode. So again, if you haven't watched episode one or two, go watch those. And I hope you enjoyed episode three and we'll see you guys for episode four. Bye.